You know the vibes, we got Nisi on the track. What's up with y'all, man? Today, it's pretty much just father-son bonding. Now, check this shit out, yo. This is just an experience. This is all that this is. That's all it's going to be. I want to be able to be the one that gives my son the coolest experiences, right? It's typically like the older cousin or the uncle or somebody, one of the family friends that lets the little homie always do something. Not in this family. I'm the one that gives the coolest experiences out this family, right? I... Let my son drive a 600 plus horsepower muscle car. So, do you know what this is? Z01. Do you know about a Z01? No. This version that they made with um, supercharger, so it's got an early 600 horsepower. So it's kind of quick. So this is a 10 speed, so it's paddle shifting. Hold the foot on the brake, press that start button. You gonna test the sky. Camaros have a very big dash, right? <laughs> you see nothing but dash and hood, huh? Yeah. Move to C4 with some more. two feet get your other foot off of that it is a big car these were definitely something that woke everybody's game up so you feel that transmission they're not a dual clutch, but they do shift very, very quick. Yeah. Oh, he drives in track. <laughs> All right. So, no, because it's a good mess. I saw it. This would be a, uh, a fun ass car to have that can do like daily driver duties, be comfortable and take on the track and like whoop ass with. So it's a lot of car, it's heavy, but it is capable, um, you know, as long as you're not being a bonehead on throttle and hammering on it and doing stupid shit. Nah, just keep going all the way down to the stoplight. Just a little bit. You don't gotta give it a lot of throttle, but just give it a good amount. Go ahead. Go. Go, give it some. Give it a little more. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. 
not goose it. <laughs> I just said give it a little more. Remember that 350Z, that feeling of torque? This is all of that and then some. This is two times that Z. For in a car this big that can go this fast, when you touch these brakes, don't be timid. Use the brakes to purposely bring it down to a stop when you do. So don't ever be timid on these brakes. These are humongous brakes and they do work. You just have to work them. You want to use the paddle shifters? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's on you. Yes, this is like a windy road. This is a wide car, huh? Yeah. Do you get the sense of where your wheels are at? I'm trying to place this side more over here. So that might be. You got space. Yeah. That's that's smart on oncoming two lanes like this. But yeah, it's but a it's like a very I'm, wide right, car. The tires are like more over here still, mm -hmm. in a way. You're actually about almost dead center in the lane. You've got about a foot and foot and a half over here, which I'd assume you'd have over there. Oh yeah. Alright, slow it down. Downshift. Get off the, don't don't ride the brakes like that in turns. Just bring it on down by, you know, get coasting off. Shifted. I was, I was in, I was no, it does it automatically. I saw oh. you. That's why I don't want to go. Yeah. Finest of American V8s that you've just driven right there, my boy. Mm -hmm. A lot of torque. Felt A that. lot of torque. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the supercharger also feels just like normally aspirated. Um, it's just a hell of a power adder. So, yeah, you for sure. It's one of those things you do, but you don't notice. 
So just to summarize it up, it was a good time to let him just experience and he's such a responsible kid. If you could see his seating position, his hands on the wheel, he used the blinker every single time. The kid is super responsible. Here's what I love about him. He's so damn timid in the street, but when he gets out on the racetrack, he, he goes crazy, right? As a parent, I want to be the one that has given him the dopest chances to have the most fun, right? I don't want him being in high school. He's a freshman right now, right? A lot of his friends next year are probably going to have cars, maybe. Because as a freshman, I'm sure he integrates between freshman and sophomore. But once he becomes a sophomore, his friends are going to be juniors, maybe seniors. Some of those juniors and seniors are going to have cars. They're going to be driving. None of them I want him to be riding with. Guaranteed fact, coming from this family, nobody that he knows as his peer is going to drive better than him. Nobody that he knows as his peer is going to drive better than his father. That's the end of the story. Me, he can trust. Himself, I want him to be able to trust. Everybody else, no. There'll be no jumping in no cars. Riding with nobody. Somebody thinking they got a fast car. If he decides to drive one of these cars to school, nobody's saying, hey, let me drive it. Let me see. No, because you can't drive as good as me. You can't drive as good as my dad. There's nothing you could show me. So you don't need to see shit but that passenger seat if I'm letting you ride with me. How many times do we see a car full of kids getting effed up? Don't ride with nobody. So nobody's going to be able to pull up to school with a cool car, or a fast car and say, yo, check this out. Because he's already driven them like himself. I could have drove it. I've driven that car before many times. I didn't because I wanted him to experience it. And you see, I didn't say nothing. I didn't even criticize him much about, except for he had both feet on the pedals. I don't like when people drive um, automatic cars like that. It's just a precaution. Precaution is all. Hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Hope it was pretty cool. Interesting to see this little 14 year old on the freeway in a ZL1. And I let him get a little juice. Just a little juice off. Just a little bit. A little piece. That's going to be the end of this vlog. I got a, I got a jump on package that's come in for that thing. We're going to start modding it. Uh, but that's going to be in another video because I got another one already edited and loaded up ready for y'all. And y'all going to get that video in like how many days? Put in the comments how quickly I should put out another video. I'm going to check y'all out. And we go.